Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. And yes, I've got a smile on my face, because look, a new old working engine. So, very big special thank you to Keith Prosser. Um, I've been lugging around all this time, Keith, because I knew the day would come when I'd have to replace the, this old, the other old engine. So, thanks mate. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Keith's actually converting his GRP to electric. So, um, Keith, have you, have you? I know you're watching this. Can you, uh, have you been recording what you're doing? What's, what's happening with your boat? Love to know. Um, uh, and then I've got to pay a special tribute to John and Mel, who drove all the way from Leighton Buzzard, all the way to Tamworth. That's where I am now. It's where I've broken down in Tamworth um, today. Stalled the engine, had a tinker, got it all working, got it all connected. Uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. I, yeah, couldn't have asked for, couldn't have asked for more to be, to be fair. Because I, I was at one point there, I was because we couldn't get this one started, and for one point there, I was seriously considering um, the notion of spending the winter here. <laughs> uh, Anyway, I'm not now. Uh, so yeah, 100 to 100, so it's 10 horsepower, smaller than the other one. It's really light and a stick too, so I've got to like, I just touch it and it'll just like take off. So that's pretty, that's going to be uh, interesting. Uh, whereas the other one's a bit smaller or clunky, you had to like grind it into, uh, grind it into the revs. But this one's just like, yeah, just touch it and like, phew. so. Uh, so that should be fun. And it's 10 horsepower too, the other one was eight. A um, few bits and pieces, I, I don't have the kill switch at the front anymore, it's only at the back. So I've just got to do some wiring for that. Um, I also don't have a proper fuel connector either, so if I want to fuel up at the moment, I have to disconnect the whole fuel tank from the engine. <laughs> it's a bit of a palaver, but um, that's the only way I can, uh, I can refuel, or in the boat, which I don't really like to do or take the fuel tank and actually place it on the deck there. But I have to get a bracket and I suppose I could do that. It's probably one of the easiest ways to do it, I guess. And that would make it even more safe too. Um, so that's where I'm at, people. Um, big smile on my face again. Can't wait to start cruising again. Because the weather in the next few days is going to be pretty awesome. So I uh, feel extraordinarily lucky because, yeah, in boat terms, a, a repair like this could have taken weeks or even months. So, and I've had the whole thing done <clears throat> in 24 hours, which is bloody amazing in anyone's book. It really is. So, again, special thank you to Keith Prosser and my friends John and Mel in Leighton Buzzard. Thank you so much.